Hi everyone. For some reason it zooms in when I push record. All right, so I thought I would come on and show you uh, a really easy recipe uh, for some salmon skewers using some of the products that are unfortunately going into the vault at the end of the month. Um, so we're gonna use some O Canada dry glaze uh, mix and um, I'm just going to show you uh, just how easy it is uh, to put this together. All right, so I'm going to start by making a marinade, then I'm going to cut up my salmon and I'm going to let it marinate for about 15 minutes in the fridge. Uh, and then I'm going to cook them on the barbecue using our um, Epicure barbecue skewers. All right, so I'll start with the marinade. And yes, my head's going to be cut off, but that's okay. All right. Okay, so for the marinade, we need uh, two tablespoons of the O Canada dry glaze. Um, so this is really maple and um, garlic. So just two, uh, why not close? The recipe does call two for three, two to three tablespoons, all right? So put that in there. Then one tablespoon of olive oil, and again I'm using my famous what four in one spice spoon, which is nice because you're only dirtying one tool instead of a whole bunch. So a tablespoon of olive oil. Um, I use the organic olive oil from um, Costco. We get two bottles, um, and then one tablespoon of glue, some maple syrup, got that in there. Then it calls for a teaspoon of um, soy sauce. I normally use uh, coconut sauce, that's available, uh, the best price for them is at Bulk Barn. Um, just a lot less sodium. Uh, gluten-free um, but unfortunately I'm out so I'm using my light to marry sauce also less sodium than the regular soy sauce and I'm putting one teaspoon of that in the marinade so what is that one two three four five ingredients and the next thing we need is some lemon juice so for the lemon juice I have a lemon and I'm going to, let's see here, can you see this, there you go, that's better. Okay, so I'm using our, our five inch ceramic knife uh, and I'm just going to slice the mel melon, lemon in two. Um, then I'm using our two in one uh, citrus press which does limes and um, lemons. So you have your sliced lemon and you put it face down. A lot of people think, oh, it goes in there because it matches, but it's actually the opposite. So you're placing uh, the lemon in the citrus press. And I've got my prep bowls. And so I'm just going to press the lemon juice into my little prep bowls. And those are really handy. They come in sets of four um, and they have lids for them, which is great if you make yogurt ahead of time or lemon juice ahead of time. You can just store it in the fridge. So I'm gonna make the other half as well, might as well. Uh, and so no pulp and no seeds get in to your bowl. And there you go. Just like that. Okay. Those are that. Then I need two tablespoons of lemon juice for my marinade. So one and about two. Don't need to be precise. And then I'm just gonna mix that up. like so. And that's just going to wait there uh, while I prep the salmon. So for the salmon, 
Again, super easy. I have some wild sockeye salmon. Uh, I prefer with the skin still on, so I leave it on to cook and just um, take it off as I eat. So this is one pound of salmon and it's still a little frozen, making it easier um, to cut. So I'm just going to cut it into pieces um, for my skewers, just like so. And again, I'm using my five inch ceramic blade knife and it comes with a nice sheet to protect it as well. So some nice chunks, bite size. Don't want them too little for the skewers. Then what I'm going to do is put them, put my chunks of salmon in a Ziploc bag. If you have a Tupperware marinator, that's great too. So a pound of salmon cut into chunks. I'm going to clear this out of the way. And then I'm just going to pour in the marinade that I made. Give it a stir again. And I'm just going to pour that all into the bag. Seal the bag. And smoosh it all around. Make sure it all gets coated. Now what I'm also going to add to the bag are some slices of a small zucchini. So this is about uh, eight slices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Could be more, could be less. Um, I'm cutting them in half. And I'm adding those to the bag as well so they can marinate. Everything gets marinated. Alright, so I'm just going to put this in the fridge for about 15 minutes so that the flavors develop and get soaked in. Uh, and then I'll come back and show you how I put them together. See you soon. Bye.